Turning to our next article, this is the Clark County Democrat, and this is a publisher highlight we're doing on how they are implementing audio articles. They recently became one of our first customers to incorporate full audio article functionality within their iOS and Android applications. The increasing importance of audio content to news publishers is a trend we will also be discussing today on the Today in News Tech weekly chat. So Tyler, why don't you go ahead and show us how Clark County has implemented our hometown's audio articles and playlist features into their mobile apps. So here we have the Clark County Democrat app going to allow the push notifications. This looks to be on iOS? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll mute myself and let you. Yeah, no problem. All right. So we've got our setup page here. This is just setting our notification preferences, which this is the big selling point for converting your paper to an app. These push notifications are the best way to keep your readers engaged, to remind them when you post a new story, to keep them checking back in with the site. So let's go ahead and agree to that. Here we have the front page with just all of the stories laid out. Nice, clean layout. So here is the top story. And then if I hit this, it will automatically Goodwin. jump us to the audio article player. Dixie Wilson Goodwin, 75, of Grove Hill, passed away Friday, February 25th, 2022. And from here, we've got the full audio article library. You can see down in this little headphone button at the bottom. You can see all of the audio article playlists, the auto-generated ones the playlists that are handled by all of the category pages. When you swipe over and you see notifications, you kind of showed us that where you could um, select or deselect. Like right now you have them all selected. Okay, so let's check front page, uh, church news, editorial, obits, and sports. All right. Okay, so that means if I'm interpreting this correctly, that means I'm going to get push notifications for these stories, right? Correct. Once the stories are published, you'll get a push notification. However, you have those set up on your phone. So there'll be a badge, there'll be a drop down on the top of your screen, it'll show up on your lock screen. And yeah, it should update whenever a new story gets published to those categories. Okay, so now. My question is, say, you know, two weeks has gone by and I'm inundated with um, editorial stuff. Can I go back in there and uncheck that? Yep. So all the categories are always going to be available at all times, whether or not they're checked. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Because this is just controlling which categories go to the notifications at any right. time this app you're going to have full access to every article here's our full editorial mm-hmm. and all the article versions and the playlist versions everything's all here in one central hub i just love how slick this runs like yeah. it'll backtrack really well it is nice i like the way it's all connected to the paywall too yeah that's i think that's one of our top questions that we get Absolutely. I think think it might also be important to note that this is completely built into their main app. This there isn't a a secondary app that's handling just. We've been able to make this a completely unified uh, experience for the reader. Yep, and everything that goes onto the site immediately goes onto the app. So there's no like extra work that needs done to keep the app up to date. Oh, it's just kind of a set it and forget it thing for the publisher. Exactly. Yep. She's beautiful. Beautiful. So you can see every story here on the front page. This is the same that's going to be displayed on the front page of the website. If you hit the menu bar here, you can look at your e-edition, which displays very similar to our e-reader on the site. Uh, I swiped over to the audio section. 
So it looks like the audio section is just constantly going to be your alternate page. So you can either see the pay-per-view or the audio view. So now I'm back in the menu. I'm going to hit notification settings. Here's where you can select which categories you're getting notifications for. So these will appear depending on how you have your overall phone notification set. So you'll either get like a pin or a notification on your lock screen, the drop down notification. But you can change these at any time. And these just determine what you're going to get alerted to when a new story is published. You can check and uncheck them at any time. You can select all, unselect all. For a lot of our papers that are weeklies, we dump all their articles up at the same time and everything goes live at the same time. Does that mean all of these notifications, depending on which categories they choose, are going to create like a little mini newsletter on their notification page? That is an page? excellent question. I believe that there is a way that publishers can set the notification timing and frequency. Uh, I could be wrong there, but I'm fairly certain that that is a possibility. If not, then yes, just when all the stories get published, you're going to get a 27 notifications on your phone. So, But there should be some sort of way to time those out. And it could just be if you're using the app and no people are using the notifications, we can schedule the publishing to be spaced apart a little bit so you're not getting that rapid fire dinging at two in the morning or something. Right. So this is this is tied to the, the publication times of those updates. So the notifications are going to go out within a certain amount of time after the article has been updated or uploaded to the site. You do have control over it. Um, it can either go up automatically, which will just be immediate, or you can manually trigger it. So that's going to be more on the publisher's side, but you can have things published and then say, we want to send out a push notification for this article right now. It looks like there's control on both sides, on the, right. the push side and the receive side. And so the mo more control we can give to both, they can yep. both have the, the, the ultimate experience in getting their uh, content out there and getting right. it consumed. So let's just go back to the front page. Now we have our audio article player in full here. Former First U.S. Bank Office has been sold. If we want to see that article in the player. Former First U.S. Bank Office has been sold. You can see the related stories showing up under it. So this will all just continually play as a playlist after the first article's finished. I mean, like we've been saying with audio articles for a while, we're, we're aiming for a more Spotify-like audio design. This is designed to look like an app that you're going to spend some time listening to audio in. And I think it's really great. It works just like any other audio app that I've used on the phone. So you can scroll through. You've got your new stories. These are all the auto-generated playlists, which you can kind of set parameters for. Here are all the category pages. And we just hit home, and we're back on the articles. Can you just go back one to the playlist? Sure. Okay, so say I pick, uh, we'll take church news. So if you click any one of those. Church notices. Oh, okay, so I see. So it's going to play everything in that category until you manually stop it, right? Right. Perfect. So it will start with the most recently published story and then go down chronologically from there if you're using the categories. But there's also an option to, I, I saw, I was just taking a look at some of the other options there. You could play like the entire new edition, right? Go back. Right. Up. Right. And then also so from these, include... we've got your related stories. Okay. So there's that are going to, if you go to an individual article. Okay, so, so these are all edition based. So this week's audio articles would just play the uh, the entire paper, right? Right. So that's going to be everything published within the last week, just hit yeah. by hit, basically. And then you can refine to categories if you want. Right. Yeah, this, this seems perfect for someone who just wants to open this up and they just want a curated playlist. Well, this has been a great overview of the Clark County Democrat iOS app and how they've integrated audio articles, playlists, and related stories into a really exciting audio listening experience. Today in News Tech, the podcast covering innovation in digital journalism. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe on YouTube or any of your favorite podcast apps. We'll see you tomorrow. At our hometown, we help newspapers build WordPress websites, design native apps, and develop digital subscription models. 
If you are interested in a free prototype of your publication on WordPress, go to our hometown.com and click the Contact Us button.